ang ating continuation ng third chapter 2 of the statics resultant of four systems for the topic of forces and components. So this is our problem number one. So determine the x and y components of each forces shown in figure 1.0. So meron tayong tatlong forces, forces uh, force A, B, and C. Okay? So ang direction ng ating force A is upward to the left. Therefore, yung kanya, okay, uh, x component or horizontal component is okay, upward to the right pala to, okay? To the right yung kanya x component. So this is ax. Samantala yung kanya ay is upward. So this is ay or a vertical. Yun naman yung ating b is upward to the left. So this is bx or bh. And yung ang kanya uh, y component is upward. So this is b y. And yung ating namang c is downward to the right. Okay, so ito yung ating so pagbalikan natin, this is ax and this is cx. At yung kanyang y component is downward. So this is cy. So isang tao kayo, okay, yung ating c pala is nakaslo ng 2 is to 1. So yung kanyang hypotenuse is square root of 5. So isolve natin lahat ng kanyang mga components. So at force A, yung kanyang AX is equals to A cosine of 45 degrees. Since yung ating uh, angle for the force A is with respect to X axis, therefore cosine for X component. Okay? So this is 100 cosine of 45 degrees. So this is equal to positive 70.711 kilo newton. Ibig sabihin na positive to the right yung ating x component. Okay? Or horizontal component. So y component it is equal to a sine of 45 degrees. So this is equal to 100 sine of 45 degrees. Degrees. So, this is equals to positive 70.711 kilo newton. Since positive, yung ating uh, AY, therefore, yung kanyang AY is upward. Okay? So, doon naman tayo sa force B. So, BX is equals to B cosine of 30 degrees. So, this is equal to 150 multiplied by cosine 30 degrees. So, this is equals to negative 129.904 kilo newton. Ibig sabihin, yung ating uh, force BX is to the left, kaya negative. Okay? So, BY is equals to B sine of 30 degrees is equals to 150 multiplied by sine 30 degrees is equals to positive 75 kilo newton meaning yung ating force by is upward next is yung ating force c so yung cx natin is equals to c multiplied by cosine of theta x it is equals to 200 multiplied by cosine theta x okay so this is theta x Okay? And this is also theta x by opposite interior angle in geometry. Okay? So, ano ang adjacent kay theta x? Yung 1. Okay? Over hypotenuse na square root of 5. Therefore, yung ating cx is equals to positive 89.443 kilo newton. Therefore, yung ating cx is to the right. Next, yung atin namang CY is equals to C sine of theta x which is also equals to 200 multiplied by sine theta x ang opposite kay theta x dito sa kanyang uh, okay, kanyang slope is 2 therefore 2 over square root of 5 
is equals to negative 178.885 kilo newton. Since negative yung ating as CY, therefore yung kanyang CY is downward. Okay? So, ganun lamang yung simpleng pagsasolve ng ating mga components for the given resultant or for the given forces. Okay? So, that is our problem number one. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!